one simple answer to that. They must know why they are willing to lay down their lives for the reason why they will fight. What's the reason why they are fighting and why they are prepared to give up their lives for? Yes, because the Constitution says that uh, the state shall protect its EEZ. So the Philippines must protect its EEZ. That's the mandate of the Constitution. So the only way to protect that is to send patrol ships there because if a foreign fishing vessel will poach on our waters in the EEZ, the only way we can stop them is to have a patrol there. There's no other way. Well, uh, that's why we have to explain. And also, Malampaya is outside our territorial sea. Malampaya is 43 nautical miles from Palawan, beyond our territorial sea. It's within our EEZ. Now, Malampaya supplies 40% of the energy requirement of Luzon. We have to protect that. Vital for our national interest. So, so sir, kaya natin without the help of the U.S. Kasi uh, the President, parang he wants to stop na the uh, Philippine-U.S. military exercises. If that happens, sa tiyo, sir, kaya natin protectan yung ating teritoryo ng tayo lang. Well, there is only one power on earth that can stop the Chinese from encroaching on our EEZ. And that's the U.S. Now, uh, however, under the Mutual Defense Treaty, a Philippine Navy ship, if attacked in, the, in our EEZ in the South China Sea, will trigger the operation of the Mutual Defense Treaty. So, we, if for example, uh, BRP uh, Alcaraz will go to Malampaya, it's attacked there, that's an armed attack on a Philippine public vessel. We can invoke the treaty. And that is why, if you look at Sierra Madre,